right spot. Put up, put up, kid. Hey, talk to him. This is not for the weak hearted. Ever since the beat started, the flow switched up. What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Cutter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Eddie Hearn and Dillian White. Eddie Hearn says this Dillian White must beat Povetkin to keep getting big fights. Wow. Dillian White must beat Povetkin in their rematch on March 27th for him to continue to get big fights. This is a must win for the number, number six. WBC Dillian White, his career could be facing oblivion if he loses. Wow. The matchroom promoter Hearn freely admits that he's nervous about the matchup for Dillian White, which is now 27 2 and 18, as he was knocked out by Povetkin, which is 36 2 and 25 last August. Hearn is still stunned at how the hard-hitting Russian Povetkin came back after being dropped twice in the fourth round by Dillian White to knock him out with a picture-perfect left uppercut in the fifth round. The form that Povetkin showed in throwing that punch was superb. White stopped, White dropped him like he'd been shot after Povetkin landed that peach of a punch, and the rest was history. Hearn worried for White. He says, I'm, I'm excited, but I'm very nervous, he said. <clears throat> About the March 27th rematch between Dillian White and Alexander Povetkin, Dillian White has become a good friend. He's become a real rugged individual. This is a guy that was paying for his own fights when he turned pro. He looked like a big favorite and particularly a big favorite after four rounds. It was one of those most stunning knockouts by Povetkin that I've ever seen. I know there was no crowd, but the people who were there were just numb. And this is such a big fight now for the career of Dillian White. If he's going to get that shot at the world title, he's going to keep fighting these huge fights. He must beat Povetkin. It's painfully obvious that White can't absorb, an, absorb another defeat after staying relevant as a pay-per-view fighter on Skybox office. He needs to turn things around and avenge his loss against the 41-year-old Povetkin to remain a, a pay-per-view fighter. Wow. Now, what's my counterpunch on that? It's a time where... Eddie Hearn is reviewed to be a fair and just promoter. Attitude is another story, but being fair, paying fighters what they're worth, what they're worth again, that he's been known for. He's never really had problems with money, but people were always trying to either get more money out of Eddie Hearn or feel they were worth more than what Eddie Hearn was trying to ask for. And that may or may not been true. However, what he's saying about Dillian White, Dillian White has to beat Alexander Povetkin. He has to if he wants to stay and get the fights and stay up there with the Deontay Wilder potentials or the Andy Ruiz potentials or even the Luis Ortiz potentials. He has to beat Povetkin because if he doesn't, Eddie Hearn's right. He can't get those big fights. He won't be looked at like that. He'll be beaten by a guy that is much older than himself, that's out of his prime, that's known to be out of his prime, but still has a good punch, still dangerous, obviously, but that wouldn't matter. The narrative would be, hey, you know what? You got knocked out by a 40-year-old, and you got knocked out by a 41-year-old. That would be the take. And he wouldn't be able to live that down because the first time, okay, you got me. You caught me slipping. Same thing happened to Lennox Lewis back in the day with Hasi, Rachman, and uh, uh, McCoy, okay? But it didn't happen twice. And if it happens twice, then you can't call that a coincidence or a lucky shot or anything like that. You have to call it what it is. Dillian White can't take uppercuts, and Povetkin was able to land his uppercut to knock Dillian White out. Nothing more, nothing less. Now, I hate to 
put pack it on top, but I have to counter punch. It's a dangerous fight. Why? Because it doesn't matter what Dillian White does. It's what Povetkin does. It's what he allows Povetkin to do. And in any circumstances, he cannot let Povetkin land that uppercut. Not a left one, not even a right one. Because I've seen him knocked out or knocked down by both. Joshua knocked him out with the right uppercut. Uh, left uppercut was knocked down by Oscar Rivas. And he was knocked out, of course, by Povetkin. He cannot allow Povetkin to do what Povetkin needs to do to knock out Dillian White. Because that's a bit, look, when you get hit like that, ask Amir Khan. Okay, ask Fernando Vargas. Ask a lot of these fighters that have been knocked out again and again and again. It's easier the next time. Your, dur your durability is shook, is rocked, okay? And he was he knocked Povetkin down twice and beat the cowboy shit out of him. And he did that. So at every step, it's almost like, hey, do you half-ass blame Dillian White to want to be cautious? But if he's too cautious, he gets too close. That's all it takes for Povetkin to spit. Okay? Take the body shot. Take the body shot. Don't lean over. Don't lean in. That's what he needs to do. But Hearn can't bullshit him. I'm glad he I'm glad he's not a he is a good bullshitter because he's good with words and, and speech and conversations and, and, and flow. But he's right about this. You can't sugarcoat this shit. Dillian White has to be Alexander Povetkin if he wants to be where it is. Now, the flow of boxing will go the way it's going to go, and it might make other fighters' day a little bit more easier without him in the picture like it's deemed to be before. But at the end of the day, Dillian White is still a top contender. He had a snag. We all have snag. They all have snags. We all have a bad day, but let's just hope the bad day is not the day he gets in there with Alexander Povetkin for the second time because Alexander Povetkin is on the upswing. He, his momentum is up. He knows what he's capable of doing. Hopefully that goes to his head because a lot of people that think they can land one shot ends up never landing and it gets the shit beat out of them. Okay, and that's, that's fact. Or gets outboxed like Ruiz did. And I think Ruiz had that same mentality or that same possible mentality that Alexander Povetkin could have. You know what? All I got to do, get close, work the body, get close enough and uppercut. Turn my body punches into uppercuts. It's easy to do. Ask Oscar De La Hoya. He was very good at it. More props to him. Cadello's very good at it too. But I think that Eddie Hearn's right. He needs to win this fight. And I don't think there will be a third fight if he gets knocked out again because there won't be any need. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Eddie Hearn saying that this is a must win for Dillian, the body snatcher white against Alexander Povetkin. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.